all of the main Indian peoples of the Americas have oral legends of white-skinned people who built ancient civilizations in the Americas, which provides further evidence for the presence of white Indo-Europeans being present in the Americas thousands of years ago. This includes North American Indians, Central American and South American Indians, who in all cases have such legends as part of their oral histories, noted as follows. From the book, Akuaku, The Secret of Easter Island, Thor Heyerdahl reported that Incan legend repeatedly refers to red-haired bearded white men of a civilization which existed in South America before the Incas themselves. The Inca people called these people the Viracocha. These legends state that the Viracocha were the builders of ancient cities now in ruins. Additionally, in the Paracas regions of Peru, there are large burial caves where numerous ancient mummies have been perfectly preserved. Some of the mummies have dark straight Indian hair, whereas others have red wavy hair. The latter are generally taller, and have Caucasian-shaped long and thin skull shapes, consistent with the Incan legends of the previous white Viracochan civilization, as found in Heyerdahl. Aztec and Olmec peoples, who are Central American Indians, have legends which also refer to whites. For example, their god Quetzalcoatl, had light eyes and hair color and a beard. Legend has it that this god came from over the sea and taught the Indians how to raise corn and build structures. Further, when the conquistador, Pedro Pizarro explored South America in the 1500s, he found that the Inca elite classes had reddish hair, were tall and were actually whiter than the Spaniards themselves as found in Heyerdahl, page 351. The European explorers of the 1500s were initially welcomed by local Indians thinking they were the return of the Viracocha people, based on both having light skin and beards. Again, in Peru, the Chacapoyas Empire is widely known, but not often reported by the mainstream press. This empire commanded a vast kingdom stretching across the Andes to the fringe of Peru's northern Amazon jungle. Their empire was estimated to exist between the years 800 and 1480 AD. This is at least 700 years before the arrival of Columbus. The Chacapoyas people were conquered by the Incas approximately a decade before the Incas themselves were conquered by the Spanish Europeans in the 1500s. What is most remarkable is that these people are described as white and tall that is white, fair-skinned and tall people living in the Americas at least 700 years before the arrival of what used to be thought the first European explorers. A recent discovery of one of their cities includes 150 buildings, including houses, temples and burial sites. Mummies have also been discovered recently, buried in caves. The civilization built complex structures, aqueducts, canals, and bridges. Explorers have already located 43 lost cities, high in the Andes. Other cities built by the Chacapoyas which have been discovered in the last few decades, include the city of Grand Vilaya, a complex of 20,000 stone buildings. Pizarro, the Spanish conqueror in the 1500s wrote that the ruling class in the Kingdom of Peru was fair-skinned with fair hair about the color of ripe wheat. Additionally, Fernando de Alva Cort Ixvilxiquitl, the great-great-grandson of the second-to-last Aztec ruler of Tenochtitlan, both wrote histories of his Aztec people in the early 1600s, and also produced paintings of his Aztec people. Here are three depictions, clearly showing white Aztecs, consistent with a variety of both Indian and European Spanish legends of whites living throughout the Americas thousands of years ago. In North America, Paiute Indian legends also talk of red-haired peoples in the Nevada area in ancient times, and also talk about exterminating these people. For example, Sarah Winnemucca Hopkins, daughter of Paiute Chief Winnemucca, related many stories about these people who the Paiutes called the C.T. Ka, in her book, Life Among the Paiutes. On page 75, she wrote, My people say that the tribe we exterminated had reddish hair. I have some of their hair which has been handed down from father to son. Note that across Nevada, multiple ancient skeletons have been found in which the skulls were not of the short broad Amerindian type characteristic of Indians, but rather long and thin, characteristic of Caucasians. These